It's Christmas time here at Chateau de Bayeux, and it's my favorite time of the year. I get to decorate the Christmas tree and the chateau. I've even managed to make a handmade Christmas wreath here for the gates. Uh, today, you're going to see me upcycling this lovely coffee table which we bought from our favourite charity shop, Next to Nothing. So, these coffee tables sometimes do come with um, perfect wicker tops, um, which obviously um, can be in good condition, but say if they're not, then the alternative is to do what we've done and put the plywood on top. Do your usual, cut it out to size, put it in. Glue it or staple gun it so it's sturdy, it doesn't move, um, vibrations, etc. Uh, so it's set in place. And then obviously fill it over here uh, where there are cracks where it meets the coffee table and the plywood. So I'm just going to lightly sand it. It looks great, really nice colour on this. It really come out well. Ah, well, as you can see, it's a lovely colour now. It's kind of just the colour that I want. It's nice and dark and rich. Uh, now the next step is to do the tabletop. So I'm just going to go and get the material. I've cut the material uh, slightly smaller into size so that it's easier to work with. So the next step is to secure it and by doing that I'm just going to use some PVA glue so that it stops moving. And finished! Yay! Now the most exciting part is laying that on next. I've been waiting for this for ages. Now, I brought my trusty little foam painting thing. Uh, because it's so soft and spongy, I think it'll, it'll do well at getting rid of any bubbles and sort of generally lay out, uh, level out the PVA that's underneath. I think it'll be quite good at spreading it. Yay! Now one more step to go is just to cut around. This is the bit I'm really, really nervous about. Now, um, I've got this trusty little, it's a wallpaper cutting disc. Um, it's really, really sharp. Um, and so in theory, I think it should be sharp enough to do it. Um, and do the job well, so this is what I'm going to be using. Now, I'm about to cut this, but I'm really, really nervous because I want it to be really close to the like wooden tabletop bit, and I want it to be perfect. <laughs> but I know it's probably not going to be, so it doesn't matter. Anyways, let's go for it. Okay, so this is quite actually slow progress, but obviously it's it's doing its job quite well. It's very, very sharp. Um, I don't even have to actually apply much pressure, but um, overall it's a slow progress. smooth it out um, with the spongy thing. Uh, also, I thought of getting like a wallpaper roller. I thought that's quite nice and narrow. That might help to get in the edges quite well. Now, I've finished the coffee table top 
and it's looking lovely. I've got to let it dry overnight so that the glue um, is fully dry and turns clear. All right, as we can see, it's cold and foggy morning. It's a bit too early. Where are we off to? It's very, very early. We're off to Palace of Versailles. Never been, but been wanting to go there for like absolute ages years and years probably since the start that we arrived to france so finally today is the day i can't wait all right you ready yes of a side? yes please are you excited i will be after the three hour drive when i get to get out and around what are you hoping to see or achieve out of this trip Honestly, I'm hoping to not come home and think that our house is like the size of a cardboard box. Um, <laughs> there's nothing like going to a palace to remind you there's always something bigger in life than you, than what you have. <laughs> so, we're really, really excited about going to Palace of Versailles. We're about um, half an hour away from the palace itself and the weather is absolutely perfect for doing touristy things. Check it out. Mmm, wet and foggy. I'm not sure we'll be able to spot the uh, palace anywhere. What do you think, Bill? It's like a summer in England. Yeah. <laughs> Buckingham Palace. <laughs> I'm excited, yes, yes. <laughs> Just found the new colour for the room that I want to paint. It's going to be that red, exactly that colour red. So you can imagine it already. It's a harpsichord, isn't it? Babies of baby grand piano. Then they have a baby harp. And then, yeah, look at that one. Hi again. So, my recent trip to Palace of Versailles has inspired me quite a lot. And obviously, now I'll be able to finally finish the um, coffee table. So in order to complete this project, I'm just going to use two tools, um, which is my favourite, uh, rubbing gold, uh, and then uh, some gold paint to outline a detail. I'm just going to lightly rub the surface before I apply the gold so that it sticks there. This is just a quick and easy sanding job, just in order for the um, golden wax to stick to the surface. It really is that quick and easy. Sometimes you just need to do two coats just to make the uh, gold stand out. It really is completely up to you. Okay, so now I've finished rubbing uh, gold everywhere that I want it to, to be. Um, and I'm going to do the final touch, which is doing a gold line uh, in areas using my gold uh, paint and a tiny brush. And this is the finished result. It looks absolutely stunning. The gold actually looks metallic and really, really shiny. Um, it looks lovely in dark colour and the red just really complements it really, really well overall. So I'm really, really happy with the result. It'll match perfectly the set and this room. I've returned from the UK with my latest project I'm very excited about. Horse box to turn into a bar for the events. 
Now I've just got to try to convince Angelina to be as excited about it as I am because it's quite rough around the edges. What's this? Oh, it's, it's a bit rough, isn't it? And look, there's holes. There's like skylights. So lovely, lovely feature. <laughs> oh my god, this is a different color. It's just really heavy smoking. And there are, there are holes. Mm. Are you supposed to be able to see the sky through your roof? Is that like the nice new feature? It's like, it's a convertible horse box trailer. I like it. Ignore what it looks like right now. It is fiberglass, door handle, perspex window, roof is slightly more complicated but it's still easy to do. So we're going to have shower, yeah? Natural shower yeah. feature. That will be waterproof, okay? <laughs> this will be painted. This will actually be bolted on properly. It will be what you imagined I'd be pulling up with. Well, at least it's not <laughs> falling apart. Um... Don't, don't kick it too hard. <laughs> Right. You get on with that and, uh, you know, give me a shout when you're closer so that we can start painting it so I can get actually excited about this thing. But right now, it just, yeah, yeah. Have faith. <laughs> I'm unsure she's as convinced as I am, but let's get the work done and see what happens. Right, come with me. Let's go and feed the peacocks. What have you named them? We call them Bonnie and Clyde because it's just easy and it rolls off the tongue and they are a bit mischievous. I like the way they eat because they make a funny noise. It's like this. Um, the peacock has got about double the length uh, um, to grow of his tail but it's really thickened up and it's really beautiful already. The, the peacocks have got a little like crown on their head. No, it's not a crown, it's a Mohican really, to be honest. They like crazy peacocks. They're clearly rebels with that like Mohican. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe in order to catch all of our videos.